secretary here who is speaking out. And he is a U.S. Marine Corps major, but he's also a retired judge advocate general who defended one of Guantanamo's youngest detainees. So we are very happy that he's here with us to speak out against the prison in Guantanamo. Thank you so much, Major Eric Montalvo. Just so you understand where I'm coming from and my background. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps for 21 years, prior enlisted, worked my way up. I served in the Gulf War. I served in Iraq, Ramadi in 2005, and I've been over Afghanistan probably about 20 times. So uh, I was assigned to Guantanamo Bay uh, defense work, and uh, I'm speaking as also as a New Yorker. My concern in this process and the existence of Guantanamo is, is fairly basic. Uh, we all grew up as a child uh, playing games, and nobody liked when somebody who was playing the game changed the rules in the middle of the game. We all know that. And no one likes it. And that's what's happening now. What are the rules of the game? There are O's that people took. Words mean something. Okay? Doctors took an oath. Lawyers took an oath. People made promises. We have spent blood and treasure. There are veterans out there that have died to defend our Constitution, the way of life here in the United States. So if we're willing to die, including myself, okay, for the Constitution of the United States, why is that? Because it's important. Because this country is about the rule of law. And when you look at the Constitution, if you have not, you need to. There are things in there that have been around since we started. It all starts with the people. There's supposed to be due process. There is no due process happening here. I'm a taxpayer. We're paying taxes for a facility that has no use. Why is that? Millions of dollars. We can stand here and have a debate over funding for this, for that. Where are we going to pay for this? There's people dying on the streets in this country alone, and we have poured millions upon millions of dollars into that facility and where are we today? We have the 9-11 people that were associated with the bombing. They're 3,000 plus victims from that attack, okay, and they do not have justice as I stand here today. Why? Why is that? So we all need to look as Americans and find where the fat is and cut it out. Guantanamo is not, does not serve a purpose. It is like a holding pen for animals. As a, the colonel mentioned, standing in a place for 10 years when you have not been accused of a crime, okay, and you can't talk to a lawyer, and you can't do anything else, does any one of you want to stand for that proposition? Because, no, get, no, 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 because that no. can all affect each and every one of us. We look what the government does, and that's why we started the country with separation of powers, right? That's why we elect people through the rule of law. That's why we adhere to the systems. That's why we have speed limits and, and anti-violence uh, regulations and all of that. We all know what's bad. Murder's bad. Beating up people is bad. Why are we allowing a process that is contrary to everything we believe in as Americans to continue to persist? And not only that, every one of you is writing a check each and every day to make sure it's happening. We are part of the problem. President Obama has not been held accountable. The politicians have not been held accountable. That's not right. This is America. I don't care what anybody else is doing anywhere else in the world. That's not my problem. I served my country. I went into battle. I put my life at risk. And I put my life at risk because somebody up top said, this is the way we're going to do business. Is this the way we're going to do business? Because I don't want to be a part of that. Okay.